Woolies Network. 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 Alright guys, welcome back to another reaction video here always are. Today I'm here with Naoh and Annie. And today we're gonna to react to 12 crazy laws that only exist in North Korea. So I'm pretty sure there's North nobody from North Korea is watching this because I'm pretty sure YouTube is banned over there. So I mean it's awesome. I have a it's probably strong bug because apparently well actually I'm not gonna spoil because it it's actually one of the, the uh, numbers but anyways before we get to the video if you're not hit the subscribe button please make sure you have to subscribe button because it helps us in every way possible so let's get to the video one the law regarding yeah haircuts. they need to have a specific haircut in 2013 like north korea's leader kim jong-un decided that he was going to limit the way that people of north korea could wear their hair he decided that there would only be 28 approved hairstyles allowed <laughs> in north korea 10 for the men and 18 for the women. One of the styles that are banned by Jong-un is spiked hair. The strangest and most unfair thing about this law is that Kim Jong-un himself doesn't follow it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> His hairstyle is actually not on the list. Wow. Number two, the government decides who lives in the capital. If you live in America and you want to live in the nation's capital, you would need to pack up find a place and move in. It is not that simple in North Korea. If you want to live in Pyongyang, you need to have permission from the government first. The capital city is reserved for the people who are the most successful and the most loyal. If you don't fall into either of these categories and you want to live in the capital, you are out of luck. Number three, everyone must vote. The law in North Korea states that everyone must vote. The only thing about that is there is never anyone running against Kim and his family. Yeah. <laughs> Most people are afraid to. North Korea is known as the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. However, the people don't get much democracy, nor is it actually a republic. There has been a time or two that Kim and his family had someone running against them. However, these were just political actors who were being paid to lose. Wow. Number four, your television watching is controlled. Is, <laughs> if you're living in North Korea, you cannot turn on the television and watch Game of Thrones, The Walking Dead, or Keeping Up with the Kardashians. You cannot even keep up on current affairs around the world. In North Korea, you have a choice of three television stations, and each of them is strictly controlled by the government. If you're going to be in North Korea, you can expect to watch nothing but propaganda. And don't even get me started on what they can watch on the internet. Imagine a world where you can't watch facts first. How do you survive? <laughs> Number five, it is illegal to own a Bible. In North Korea, the Holy Bible is considered to be a symbol of Western culture, which is strictly banned in North Korea. That kind of makes sense. In North Korea, the I mean, only God banned, that you are allowed to believe be in is the government and the ruling Kim family. The government will also lead you to believe that the Kim family has godlike powers. It is said that the last dictator, <laughs> Hill, was able to control the weather with his mind. Also, they can't listen to the BTS up there. Yeah, they can't can be listen put to in jail or even executed. Wow. <laughs> Number six, your family is punished for your crimes. That's fucked up. <laughs> this isn't so much a crazy law in North Korea. It's more of a barbaric law. If you are in a prison camp and you try to escape, your entire bloodline, including your grandparents, your parents, and your children would be punished. This law is in place to keep criminals from attempting to escape. However, it is considered so barbaric that the United Nations has debated whether or not the North Korean government is committing crimes against humanity. There are rumors of mass starvation and slavery at the prison camps. Crime certainly doesn't pay in North Korea. Number seven, 
you have no privacy as a tourist. If you are planning to visit North Korea, don't expect to go anywhere without a chaperone. Tourists must travel as part of a well choreographed, tightly controlled tour group. You cannot even leave your hotel room or go outside without a guide with you. North Korea wants you to understand that you have no rights or independence. And Kim Jong Un just like staring at you with binoculars somewhere. <laughs> Number eight. It's crazy. Women soldiers have it rough. Women soldiers must take part in hours of drills in the barracks where the conditions are deplorable. They must always march in perfect formation by either linking arms or by being tied together by the neck with a rope. All of the women must have the exact same haircut and wear matching miniskirts. They are even subjected to ideological brainwashing at a school where they learn English phrases such as, we are killing Americans. Number nine, oh driving is not allowed for most. In North Korea, the only people who are allowed to own a car are state officials. It is estimated that only one to 10 people out of every 1,000 in North Korea own a car. The numbers of people that own a car in most other areas of the world are much, much higher. Number 10, you cannot make an international call. Calling anyone outside of North Korea could actually get you killed. In 2007, a man was shot and killed by the government when he was making international calls while inside of a stadium. During the execution, the people in the stadium began to panic, and six people were crushed to death in the stampede. Damn. The government did not take responsibility for the deaths. Oh my gosh. Number 11. Opinions are against the law. If you have any type of opinion that goes against the regime and Kim's rulings, including not liking any of the laws I've just mentioned, you will be sent away to an educational camp. While there, you will be brainwashed, threatened, and tortured. The hope is that in time, you will get over having your own opinion, and you will get in line with the rest. Number 12. Don't try leaving the country. Oh, if you live in North Korea, you are forced to stay there for the duration of your life. Even if you try to take a vacation to South Korea, yeah, you, you will be hunted down and punished severely. Subscribe for more. My Did I scar you children? No. <laughs> I know most of them. But what do you guys think of it? I mean, like, it's, uh, whatever. Mm -hmm. Let's go back. Yeah. Can we have share? I can't believe Donald Trump and Kim Jong Un at one point. That's crazy. But anyways, so if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, check out my stuff in the description below. We'll see beautiful people in the next video.